brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus we are in the season of lent the most fruitful season in the liturgical year when we hear about the season of lent very often people think that oh this time again the lent has come and even those people who believe in god those people who practice the faith some of them think that this season we are called to make a lot of fasting prayer and in a way it seems to be not so nice my brothers and sisters those people who would like to be with the lord those people who want to really receive a lot of blessings from the lord it is a wonderful season it's a blessing for all of them to be part of this great season of lent we are all human beings we are trying our level best to meet the person of jesus christ not only meeting the person of jesus christ during this season we are trying to meet our brothers and sisters who are uh, who are far and who are close to us what does it mean to take fasting or what does it mean to be in prayer especially in this season of lent letter to hebrews chapter 4 verse 15 we read we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weakness but we have one in every respect has been tested as we are yet without sin my brothers and sisters this season of lent very specially reminds us that we have only one master we have only one savior that is the person of jesus christ and even this jesus christ who was tested like many all of us though he was god though he had all the power though he had he had he may he had done lot of miracles and wonders in his life but still he was tested like as we are but the word of god continues he has been tested as we are yet without sin so my dear brothers and sisters we all will have temptations of our daily life people have surely people have an inclination towards sin even though we are fasting we are attending prayer service we are reading the word of god but still we all have to face a lot of temptations and sufferings in our daily life but the advantage with those people who are with spiritual weapons as you know prayer fasting and penance they are spiritual weapons those who are with these spiritual weapons they will be tested like jesus but they will survive that testing he has been tested as we are yet without sin those people who believe in god those people who practice the faith and those people who has vested with the spirit uh, with the spiritual weapons they will be tested yet without sin so my dear brothers and sisters those who would like to lead a holy life this is a wonderful time for us we all would like to lead a holy life we all would like to meet the person of jesus christ we all would need to have a uh, need to have conversation with him we all would like to see him we all would like to receive blessings from him this is a wonderful season for all of us my brothers and sisters to grow in our spiritual life to grow in our spiritual life very often people say that i really want to grow in my spiritual life but very often i am tempted and i am fallen in sin why because we do not have the spiritual power 
So for a Christian, for a Catholic who is in the season of Lent, it is a time for you and me to grow in our spiritual power. What are the ways to grow in spiritual power? Word of God, fasting and prayer, penance. During this season of Lent, the church asks each one of us to spend more time with the word of God. To reflect with the word of God. To spend more time in prayer. To do fasting and penance. So that you may renew your own spiritual life. People think that this is an old way of Lent. Or this is an old style of spirituality. That people don't eat certain things. People spend more time in prayer. No. Even this most modern world. To grow in spiritual life. There is no other way. Other than prayer. Fasting. Word of God. My brothers and sisters. This is the energy. Behind all people. Who would like to grow. In the person of Jesus Christ. Very often people say that. I am tempted. Yes. Our master Jesus Christ. Is also tempted. But yet without sin. St. Alphonse Ligori used to tell that a person who has, who has overcome the temptations he is really a blessed person. Not he really, he is really a blessed person. He is really awarded. He will be awarded by the Lord himself. To have temptation and to do sin they are two things. To have temptation is normal part of human life. It, 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 there were temptations even for Jesus. But to overcome those temptations, to overcome that sinful situation, that is the merit of someone who has real experience of God. If you do not have real experience of God, if you do not meet the person of Jesus Christ, then it is not easy. So my brothers and sisters, this wonderful time helps us to rebuild our relationship with the God. We all have relationship with the Lord. But sometimes in the course of our life, we missed that relationship. So this time of Lent, the Lord is asking us to rebuild your relationship with your God. So spend more time in prayer, more time with the word of God and prayer, fasting and penance. Day before yesterday, the Ash Wednesday, we started this season of Lent with prayer. With a special prayer. And we have blessed the ashes. And in that prayer, the church specially reminds us, you are dust. You are going to dust. This season also especially helps us to think about our human life. Though you are a great person at this time, you are dust. You are going to dust. You may be a, you may be a, a big businessman. You may be a doctor. You may be an engineer. You may be a famous preacher. You may be a singer. Whatever it may be. Brothers and sisters, we are all coming from the Lord. We are all dust and we are going back to dust. Actually, this is a wonderful season, helps us to think about our own life. Our own life. Very often we think that we are we are doing, we are fasting, we are praying for the church, and we are doing a lot of penance for the people around us, for the sinners. There is some truth in that, but more than that, we are thinking about our own life. Our own life. In the, in the busy schedule, we do not have time to think about ourselves. We are very much thinking about our havings. He said that I have, I have, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I have, I have a lot of money. I have this house. I have this company. I have these degrees. We are so much thinking about our havings and doing. I do this. Brothers and sisters, these 40 days, very specially, the Lord tells us, leave, up, leave all your havings. Think about your being. 
what you are you are a person specially blessed and anointed and helped by the lord your life here on earth is a blessing from the lord you are a person specially called to do the will of god in this world to worship your lord to serve your brethren and to make your life more fruitful after after certain time you will be called back that is why ashwin is there very specially when we bless the ashes it reminds us we are going to be dust within no time so brothers and sisters this is a wonderful opportunity for us to think about our own life especially christian life this is also a time to reflect on our personal life sometimes we are people who are very much proud of our havings our doings but the lord is asking us what you have is a given gift thank the lord for all the gift and think about and think about your simple life you are a person who is going to be dust very soon so prepare your ways plan your life think about doing something for god and people around us in order to do that you need a special strength and this season of lend helps you boost you to receive more energy to do the will of god let us to colossians chapter 1 verse 24 why do we need to fast why do we need to fast people always ask christ has done everything for us he sacrificed his life for us and in his sacrifice everything is completed that is the perfect sacrifice he suffered for us he died on the cross then do we need to fast again do we need to fast again do we need to pray again do we need to pre- uh, do penance again my brothers and sisters christ has done the perfect sacrifice and that is the most perfect sacrifice nobody can do anything more than that christ has done and by his sacrifice by his sacrifice the grace is given to all of us but let us to colossians chapter 1 verse 24 i am now rejoicing in my sufferings for your sake and in my flesh i am completing what is lacking in christ affliction for the sake of his body that is the church saint paul reminds us christ has done everything for us he has come, he has sacrificed his life for us a perfect sacrifice is done nobody can do more than that then why should we do for prayer fasting and suffering saint paul reminds us i'm rejoicing in my sufferings for your sake and in my flesh i am completing what is lacking in christ's afflictions though christ has done his perfect sacrifice the grace is he is pouring out the grace as a person of lot of limitations i am not able to receive that grace i am not able to receive that grace i am not able to receive that blessing in order to prepare myself to to receive the wonderful blessings and grace from the lord i am fasting i am praying i am doing penance brothers and sisters that is the reason we spend time with the lord not to receive the blessing the the, the uh, by by his crucifixion by his suffering by his death by his resurrection grace and blessings are given to us in order to make us capable of re- receiving this wonderful grace we are making ourselves humble we are making ourselves available we are telling jesus that we are preparing to receive the blessings that you have that you have given to us brothers and sisters so in our body we are we are trying our level best 
in our body we are trying our level best to receive the blessing and again jesus told his disciples that when you have to fast the gospel of matthew chapter 6 verse 16 the gospel of matthew chapter 6 verse 16 we read that and whenever you fast do not look this way like the hypocrites for they disfigure their face so as to show others that they are fasting truly i tell you they have received their reward jesus is telling his disciples whenever you fast he expect us each one of us to be with him in fasting and prayer why he has to bless us acts of the apostles chapter 13 verse 1 Now in the church of Antioch there were prophets and teachers Barnabas Simeon who was called Niger Lucius of Cyrene <clears throat> man and a member of the court of Herod the ruler and Saul while they were worshiping the Lord and fasting the holy spirit said set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which i have called them when they were worshiping and fasting the lord has blessed them the lord has opened new ways for them so my, my brothers and sisters those who are crying before the lord those who are up asking for a new opening in their life those who are asking for blessing from the lord you have a lot of bless you need a lot of blessings you need a way to be opened brothers and sisters it is possible when you worship the lord when you worship the lord when you fast before the lord new ways new new ways will be opened for you maybe you are struggling with some of the difficulties of your life when you worship and fast the lord will open a new way for you so brothers and sisters this season of lent is a wonderful season for each one of us as i already mentioned we fast to be with him to experience the love of god we fast in order to make in order to receive the blessings from the lord we are preparing and we are waiting and we fast so that new ways may be opened for us we may be blessed like the apostles they were worshiping and fasting the holy spirit said barnabas and saul for the work to which i have called them the lord has called each one of us to a work very often we have not at found we have not at found what is that the mission entrusted to me when you are in prayer when you are in worship when you are in fasting the lord will open a new way for you brothers and sisters those who are worshiping those who are praying those who are fasting please sit before the lord and ask the lord lord give me the grace so that i may i may i may be with you sometimes people take fasting for a whole day or two days or for even 50 days people who are taking fasting but they do not how they do not show the result of fasting sometimes you are you are eating only once in a day you know that you are in fasting and you are very much preoccupied with that you are getting angry with people when people come to you you are getting angry brothers and sisters that is not real fasting fasting should help us to face the difficult situation of life if you are getting when you are when you are uh, skipping a meal if you are getting angry either you train your mind to be happy or you eat that is better because in order to in order to do a virtue you shall not uh, you shall not do a sin again so brothers and sisters this is doesn't matter what in what way you are coming close to the lord you have come close some people it can be done through word of god some people it can be done uh, through sitting before the lord the important thing is to be with the lord today we do not have time the next day if i get time i will explain the pope francis has very clearly told us 10 ways to be with the lord 10 ways 
It is not that something we are uh, we are avoiding. It's more of a more of a passion, a lo and love for Jesus Christ. So, brothers and sisters, this season may help us more and more close to the Lord, so that God may become our friend.